Okay, CERN's logo is 666. A lot of people want to ignore it and say, well, it doesn't mean anything. Well, it does. That's the devil's number, 666. And then you think about it. It's on the land of Apollo, like in the Bible where it says the angel's going to open the, the abyss and the Antichrist is going to come out with a, a bunch of preachers. Um, logo 666, it says that it's going to put that on men. Uh, it has to do with parallel universes. A lot of us shifted in the Mandela effect. It sounds like they're connected somehow. And then you got the parallel universes. Um, and this one, anyways, it seems like people aren't as smart. I, I'll just be honest. A lot of our famous lines are missing. So they, they, they even the, the scene in, in uh, Moonraker where the girl smiles and there's metal in her teeth that matches jaws, his metal teeth. But the point I, I really want to make is, is, is this the Bible pretty much says when you have the seal of God on your forehead or your right hand. Which usually means in your thoughts, in your heart, and with all your might, to your right hand, with all your might. That's what it usually means. So if we're going through CERN, it's making us parallel shift. You're either going to have God and Christ in your heart with all your, your mind and, and your might, or you're not. One or the other. If it's the other, that 666 that CERN's doing, I think it's vibrating us to a, a demonic, satanic universe, the Antichrist is step up on the scene. Uh, the Bible's changing, if he's changing history, if the Bible's changing because he's actually changing history, not just the words, but if the actual, actual history is being changed, he could actually write himself in eventually as a great antichrist that was never stopped. Create a, a, a dimensional a universe w using CERN where God doesn't exist, where the, only, only the antichrist exists, or the devil. Then, of course, he'll be God there, but he won't be able to sustain everything, so it would, it would most likely catch on fire. Or just be destroyed somehow. And if you live forever and you're stuck in some kind of destruction, you might have to constantly forever be destroyed. You, you get it? Like if it just boom, and it's like you just, but you won't die. So, so think about that. What you do with all your might. So while we're vibrating through all these parallel universes, while, while it's shifting, you want to have Christ with, you know, in your right hand and your, in your heart and your thoughts. With all your